Oh, hello. Welcome to Superheroes Anonymous. Um, how can I help you today? I'd like to fill out a superhero application. Okay, let me just pull that up. Some pretty basic questions on it, well, most of which are very common to what you would get in a normal application. Um, and then as we go farther down, you'll get to the ones that are a little more um, superhero application specific. Let me just pull that up. Okay, so what is your real name? Yes, your full name, your full given birth name. Okay. And do you just want to spell that for me? No, it's not that unusual of a name, but I always ask just because um, some people like to spell their names, you know, cool ways, so um, always ask to be safe. Okay, and what is your current age? Okay. And your current address. Yes, just where you're residing currently. Okay, and what is your planet of birth? Okay, good old fashioned Earth. And um, what is your superhero name? Or as Spider-Man likes to say, what is your made up name? Okay, well, that's very creative. I'll be interested to know what your superpower is. All right, so um, do you have any actual superpowers or are you just a highly trained human like Batman or Black Widow that um, allows you superhero status? Okay, so you do have superpowers. And what are your superpowers? Okay, yes, that's pretty common. Oh, that one's interesting, okay. No, don't have too many of those. Uh, that should be a pretty good asset. Um, and were the circumstances that you got your superpower naturally occurring, or an accident? Or do you have a mutant gene, like the mutant X gene? Or are you, um, a descendant of a demon, or an alien, or, um, you know, some other non-human species? Okay. Alright. And what was the accident? Okay. Nope. Oh. Yeah, that's actually very common. Happens all the time, believe it or not. More than you might think. Now, are there any other superheroes in your family or your circle of friends? Okay. No, that's quite all right. Um, we just always like to ask, we like to know a little bit about the background of our up and coming superheroes. So do you already fight crime on your own? Okay, and how long have you been fighting crime? Just um, a ballpark, about how many years would you say you've been fighting crime? Okay. And do you have any supervillains in your family? I know this can sometimes be a sensitive question, but um, we always have to ask just so we know, so that if you do, um, you might be predisposed to those tendencies and we can give you some exercises to um, counteract any, any tendencies you might have in that area. No. Okay. That's fine. And are you interested in flying solo, or did you want to join a preformed superhero group? Okay, the X-Men usually only take people who are um, naturally born mutants, so you're not actually qualified for that group. But you could do Avengers, Justice League, um, you could even do the Teen Titans, your um, age uh, qualifies you for that if you'd like. Okay, Justice League, going old school. Um, it's usually not a problem to get in. Um, the only thing would be is if you, again, have some of the dark tendencies. Um, for example, Raven was rejected from the Justice League because being part demon, um, we weren't sure how that would go over. So she was not actually accepted to the Justice League, but um, for the most part, it's not a problem. Uh, let's see, do you have any preferences about where you're posted as a superhero? Okay. And for your uniform, do you already have one or do you need one made? Okay, and are you happy with what you have or would you like a um, more professional upgrade? Upgrade, okay. Um, chosen colors. Um, we usually recommend that you choose like two as your base colors, and you can always do more as you go on, but just two as your, your general base colors. Okay, that's a good combination. 
Um, do you want a cape or no cape? Yeah, that's always pretty cool. And mask or no mask? Okay, and do you have any weapons or will you be needing any weapons to go with your costume? Okay. Now, will you be staying with us at Superheroes Anonymous Headquarters, or will you be um, retaining your, your own address? Okay. Okay, and so um, I'm also going to tell you about our Superhero of the Month program. That's um, anybody who is accepted into the Superheroes, whether you live on campus or off campus, um, is automatically enrolled and um, how it works is it is the amount of lives you save divided by the amount of damage you cause. So it's not just lives you save, you have to cause the least amount of damage while you're saving lives. So for example, um, last month's uh, winner was um, someone who saved a thousand lives and he only destroyed one city doing it. So that was that was pretty good. So ended up with our superhero of the month and you know he gets his picture up on the wall and everything like that so you'll be automatically enrolled in that and now let's see what else do we need here okay so it is mandatory for um, all of our superheroes to sign up for at least three classes a year and what these are are basically um, superhero conduct classes and they just kind of teach you how to be a good superhero um, so you just have to pick three of those. Um, would you like to do that now? Okay, let me pull up the list. So first option is learning to keep your powers under control. Um, that's a good one if you have um, powers that you can't always control and you want to learn how to have a little more control over your powers. No, that's not applicable to you. I'm going to agree with that. I don't think you really need that. Sounds like you're well in control. Um, the next option is superhero grabbing, um, which is basically just, um, you know, how to grab somebody respectfully when you're saving their life. It's especially important if you're, um, you know, among the male superheroes, if a woman is falling off of a building, he wants to make sure that he grabs her in a way that's not going to make her feel uncomfortable, you know, you don't want to accidentally graze areas that you shouldn't, so, um, there's a lot of practice falling and stuff like that in the class, um, that's just a really good one to learn how to grab people when you're saving them and you know small children you don't want to grab them too hard because it can frighten them so um, it's just a good good general um, superhero etiquette class if you like that one no not that one either okay um, third option is hiding your identity one always comes in handy um, some superheroes like to reveal their identities because they like the fame but um, many of us just like to keep our identities hidden in secret, so this is a lot of tips on how to do that, um, how to lead a double life, and you know all the necessary things that you would need for keeping your identity a secret. Okay, you would like that one? Alright, we'll sign you up for that one. Hiding your identity. Okay, your next option is making superhero friends. Um, this is really good for like introverts if you're not very good at making friends and you don't want to be seen as the outcast superhero. Um, it just kind of teaches you how to approach superheroes, um, both new superheroes and some of the um, older, more well-known superheroes, um, which can be, you know, kind of nerve-wracking for introverts to approach them. So it's just an easy way to, to make friends with other people who may have similar or different uh, superpowers than you. Uh, nope, not that one. Okay. Uh, next option is um, making a living while saving the world. Um, that one is really um, geared toward people who keep their regular jobs, of course, which most people do, um, unless you happen to be a billionaire, which, you know, then your problems are pretty much solved. But um, for those who are a little lower on the income scale, have to keep their um, jobs while they're saving the world. It just kind of teaches you how to um, deal with the fact that you may have to leave suddenly and, you know, certain excuses you can give your boss. This kind of goes with, um, hiding your identity, but, you know, excuses you can give your boss and just, um, different types of employment you can get. Um, self-employment is always a, a good thing if you're trying to save the world while still making a living. So just different, different ideas for that. Yes? You like that one? Okay. I'll sign you up for that one as well. And then we have um, superheroing in other countries. Um, so this 
brushes up a little bit on foreign language skills because, you know, of course it's easier to tell someone you're saving their life if you know their language. So if you think you'll be doing a lot of um, heroism in other countries, this is a good one to um, brush up on language skills and learn certain cultures. Um, it gives you the layout of the, of the countries, the cities in there, and the high points, um, the places that are often attacked in those countries um, by supervillains, um, you know, just things like that. So, nope, not one. Okay. Um, we also have gauging intensity. Um, this is a really good one if you find yourself, you know, like really um, jumping the gun about whether you should jump into a situation or not. It just kind of helps you decide whether this is a matter for local law enforcement or whether it requires someone with your specific skill set, you know, the, the superpowers. No? Okay. And the last one we have is superhero vehicles. Um, so this is a really good one if you're going to be doing you know, long distance hearing and you can't fly, so you might need a vehicle to get there. It's just a great way to how to hide you know little tools and different things in your vehicle, and you know try to keep your vehicle inconspicuous while still being very useful in your in your superheroing. You would like that one, okay? So those are your three classes. You are set for those. And let me see, I'm going to set you up with an appointment for our seamstress Martha. She will be taking your measurements and um, just discussing a little more about what your casting will be with you, you know, just so you can um, kind of explain what you'd like to convey with your superhero persona. So set that up for you for two o'clock today. And get that all taken care of with her, with Martha. So let me just type in a few more things here, and I think that we are done. Okay, so welcome to Superheroes Anonymous, and um, feel free to wander around the halls and meet other superheroes. Um, there's a lot of new ones and a lot of old favorites. Um, not as many, um, because they're usually out crime fighting or training other crime fighters, but you do see a few of them walking through the halls now and again, so um, feel free to stop and say hi if you're not too shy, and um, yeah, just get to know everyone, and then two o'clock you have your appointment with Martha, so you'll get your, your costume done, so wish you many long years of saving the world. So some of you may be wondering exactly what this video was, um, and um, an ASMR video is um, usually it gives um, a lot of people find soft voices and typing and stuff like that very soothing or some people get head tingles um, and so I had a lot of requests to do this because um, a lot of my videos end up as accidental ASMR because my brother sleeps in um, right down the hall so when I'm recording late at night I don't want to wake anybody up so I always talk really quietly in my videos and some of them accidentally end up as ASMR so I'd had a lot of requests to do an actual ASMR video and the only reason I even know what that is is because I have ASMR myself um, I found it out totally by accident um, I was just uh, I get really really relaxed after listening to this this one video over and over and over again and people kept telling her she should do ASMR videos and so I finally googled it and found out what it was and I was just like oh yeah that's exactly what I have um, so I did the ASMR video and um, if you have ASMR I hope you enjoyed it um, if you didn't I hope you know what it is now because they can come off as really weird if you don't know what ASMR is uh, they can come off as really, really weird. So um, hopefully I've explained it a little bit and that little card over there was popping up. Um, I've got a whole blog post I did on it if you want more information on it. And um, leave me a comment below and let me know uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you'd like to see more. Um, if there's enough interest, I might do a few more of these. I'd probably do them on like off days um, and keep uh, my channel basically mostly still the DIYs. Um, the costumes and the cosplay, but if there was enough interest I might do some of these on like the off days and then, um, or maybe maybe on a different channel or something, but either off days or a different channel um, if there was enough interest in uh, some weird little ASMR adventures, otherwise um, I can just stick to the, the costume and cosplay DIYs.